Hi, y'all. Um, had a rough day yesterday. Well, not rough. It was a mixed bag. Um, I got hit with a new concept, um, which is really interesting, um, especially as it applies to cosmology and the idea of Boltzmann brains. Um, it may be a way of uh, reducing the likelihood of being a Boltzmann brain, which is something I care about. Um, but, uh, here's the thing, um, to make a consistent or logically constructible human being, you have to make a lot of them. It's one of those things where human beings, um, have to be made by, uh, you know, you're not going to make a human being out of like a, a, a vacuum fluctuation. You're going to have to have, um, human beings, uh, I'm sorry, you're not going to have, a human beings made by a, a random fluctuation in entropy. Um, but you're not going to, uh, but, you, but to make a human being, you have to make a whole bunch of them. And to make a whole bunch of them, you have to have a biosphere. And to make a biosphere, you have to have a solar system. And to have a solar system, you need at least a galaxy. So maybe, uh, maybe multiple galaxies. So um, it may turn out that this uh, thing called assembly theory which is kind of like uh, a hunch I had back in 2008 that, uh, that, uh, that if an observers exist, um, they have to exist in a regime that is compatible with life. Um, freak observers are freak or Boltzmann brain observers um, are very uh, few and far between compared to uh, Real observers who uh, have an evolutionary history from a Big Bang cosmology, solar system nebula forming, evolutionary history, what have you. Um, I mean, it's interesting. Uh, the guy who gets the credit for it, he came up with some mathematical equations for measuring complexity, which will be able to test life in the solar system and other maybe exoplanets. Um, it's a mathematic mathematicization of uh, this uh, principle. Um, it's good stuff. I mean, it's good stuff. I like the idea. I think it's going to be used by the God Squad a little too high. You know, we're going to take it and run with it. But the same thing happened with the Big Bang with Lamatra, La um, a Jesuit priest who came up with uh, with uh, um, um, Big Bang cosmology. Um, you know, the Pope tried to say, oh, evidence of God, evidence of God. And like Lamatra is like, don't tie your theology to a scientific principle. Scientific principles can be proven wrong and scientific principles can be reinterpreted. Anyway, um, that's a dangerous game to play. Um, fundamentalists like to play that game, but it's not a good game to play. Anyway, um, this guy who formed it, I mean... Look, it's one thing. The idea itself, I like his sound. I like the idea. The guy who formed it is a big-time a-hole, right-winger, a uh, little fashy. I don't like him, but um, but I do like the idea. It's interesting, and it does prevent Boltzmann brains. So anyway, um, I was processing that idea uh, for a long time yesterday, and it kind of makes me happy today, but I had to process it for a while because I'm – I've got like good crystallized intelligence, but my fluid intelligence is a little slow. So it takes me time to process stuff. I think, I think it's with age, but it's also, it's also, I think just the way I'm built, but um, yeah. All right. So peace out and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.